For public services employers, the pillar of social rights should be a general strategic framework, setting up a clear set of objectives, translating into a series of action of two kinds. First, uh, the pillar can be a reference document, a kind of compass to identify existing possible gaps in the European social legislation. Because in our view, the current problem of EU social legislation is not quantity, but quality. We need to make sure social legislation is still fit for purpose. And the Working Time Directive is a clear example of what I'm saying. The second set of action should be for the pillar to favour benchmarks to create upward convergence in the framework of the European semester, hence favouring reforms at national level, but even more the ownership of those reforms for key players, including the social partners. And finally, for all this put to become real, it is absolutely important that the Commission and Afterwards, member states do involve national and European social partners in this process. The pillar can become an instrument for European citizens to see Europe back as a solution and not as a problem. And in this process, we, the social partners, can play a great role.